Friday, finally. Holy smokes, yesterday. Whoa. Yikes. <laughs> yesterday was not fun for me, ladies and gentlemen. It was a, it was a very rough day. Um, you know, I'll tell you the uh, straight up honest truth here. I have been actually considering just like taking a PTO day, but we're, we're short-handed as it is, and I don't really feel right calling out on a day like today. Only yesterday, we found out we're now even more short-handed. <laughs> Yay! Boy, isn't that fun. But anyway, you know, I guess we'll make it through. I don't know. It's, it's getting weird. It's getting really super weird, people. Anyway, I did not announce it yesterday, had a lot on my mind, so I'll announce it right now while I'm laying out the cards. Uh, since this is Full Scale Friday, this is what a personal reading will look like, but it will be more direct. It will answer a specific question instead of just being something general like today. And I will make today, April 1st, the very last day to take advantage of the promotion that's been going on all March long. There's a book, the link is in the description below, Heathen Solar Foundations by Winifred Ho uh, Hodge Rose. It is a collection of her IDUNA articles about, of course, the lore that heathens carried about the soul and how that can be applied to modern day stuff and all that, all that good, uh, all that wonderful warm goodness so today is the last day to take advantage of it i have the uh breakdown of which book you buy and what it comes with down in the description below if you've purchased the book then you simply hit me up let me know which you know show me uh Proof of purchase and we'll go ahead and get those things started for you. We'll get those scheduled for you, no problem. Uh, you can also just read the book for free right there on the website because all the articles are there. All depends on how you want to do it, but today, as of mid this, this Friday here, and you know what, I'll tell you what, I'll do you one better. I will, I will say midnight Monday. Midnight Monday, okay, that's when the promotion ends. I will carry it through the weekend just for just for you guys because you guys are awesome. I should have closed it yesterday, but uh, didn't have it on the mind. Also, uh, I would like to thank all of you who are sending Moots and Aussie Banshee Queen your, uh, your healing energies, your prayers, and... Uh, those groovy groovy vibes because apparently they're working. Moots is feeling better. We are doing a live read on Sunday on High Notes. You might notice some new cards speaking of. And I haven't announced them yet. I will. <clears throat> anyway, the last uh, Sunday reading I did, I used Celtic Tarot, and of course the Angels and Ancestors Oracle. Today, I am calling on all of the Ancestors, and I think the timing could not be better. As we're in a new moon, new month, brand new everything here. And I'm kind of hoping that's what we get today. Now, Celtic Tarot and Angels and Ancestors Oracle, those are decks I premiered live on high notes so see it it actually pays off to kind of come to a, I guess what we were competing against the Oscars so it, it wasn't a high turnout <clears throat> that's all I'll say about it but anyway I hope your day went better than mine yesterday <laughs> oh my goodness well yesterday was so rough it was, it was crazy it was it was just insane I let me tell you, the only reason that I was able to get out, you know, get out of there on time was because everything had finally calmed down for just a couple minutes. 
just enough for me to just log off everything, clock out, and, you know, bye. I'm out. <laughs> because there are days like that. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just like you. <laughs> I got a job, and there are days where that job is like, oh. Anyway, let's not waste a whole lot of time, so we're going to get down to the well of weird. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen, this is where your magic this is where it's time to begin again make those lists get that uh, get that little you know ritual done by the way ladies and gentlemen when you wake up in the morning and you do things in a certain order and you do it every day and it's regimented that's a ritual uh, you know you have your coffee at the same time or your tea at the same time or your breakfast at the same time that there's your ritual so time to get those manifesta manifestations planned and started and you gotta believe in your own magic because you are being guided by the end <clears throat> so the way things ended did they end the way you wanted them to? Did they at least get a start on something new? You can't have a start of something new unless you have the ending of something else. So uh, I know a few friends have had their, their Kickstarter projects and things like that wrap up. They're all done. By the way, I would like to congratulate Pulp Hummock Press. Raised a pretty, pretty good amount for his uh, Gods of the Forbidden North RPG supplement for old school essentials very very nice work all right spirit animal believing in your own magic does come with taking that leap of faith it, it really is time ladies and gentlemen it's gonna be this is the this is the month where you just jump right in you don't hold anything back you're just gonna have to dive right in starting with this weekend so what are we what are we thinking about here now you may not be used to some of these images but that's okay I will explain them it's fine let's start with the five of swords Right now, if you have not mastered your field, if you are not in 100% complete control of yourself, it's time to get that way. If you are, if you have those, if you have that kind of control over your own thoughts, then it's time to use this as the transition. This is called the Page of Shields, but it's also known as the Page of Coins or Pentacles. They're using shields because this is uh, based on a lot of Celtic lore, and for that one, we're looking at so we we got shields for pentacles. We also have cauldrons instead of a um, of cups. this page of shields this is where we learn our craft you have to study as if that's all that matters but let me tell you something looks can be very deceiving the page is aware of the necessity of study and dedication and of mastering one's craft. With this popping up in the mind column, I'm not surprised. But the trees that surround her, that, that's what makes up like the parchment, the paper, and things like that. Those kind of things that we, we use for um, books and tools to allow one to count and memorize. 
Now these in turn bring security and stability, but only if one dedicates the right amount of energy into the foundations for the future. Those who are successful benefit from the fruits of their material labors, and though, uh, those who are successful and benefit from the fruits of their material labors are those who plan ahead. So, what this is telling you is, if you're sort of that jack of all trades but master of none, this is telling you it's time. It's time to focus on one trade, apply yourself, and watch it command any price. I know people who can do leatherworking, woodworking, metalworking. They can do a little bit of all of that. But the ones who can do one thing and one thing well, you know, I mean, you might over specialize, but uh, you can command any price for it. You know, you got that one guy who, like, he can make a, a decent knife with a leather sheath. But then you got the person who makes leather sheath set last a lifetime, right? You got those people that make knives that will just hold the edge for practically forever before you really need to resharpen them, right? And that's the difference. So, the hangman. We've seen this one before. This is going, right now what you're thinking about is the sacrifices that you're going to have to make. Because in order to master your field, you're really going to have to dedicate yourself into, into study and work on it. And that's, that's going to mean sacrifices. It's going to mean uh, maybe even some sleepless nights. Uh, my friend Sam created a mega dungeon. A mega dungeon. I, th I think I've talked about it, but this thing is horrific. This thing like shocked me, and I can't wait to use it because it's absolutely awesome. But it's it's his one thing. It's his one thing that he does, and he does it well. And yes, he's drawn upon many sleepless nights. So that's something else to consider. You know. You want to raise your child child well? Probably gonna have some sleepless nights. Just letting you know. Over here in the physical, we have the world. King of Swords. And a four of cauldrons. The world, Chico, and everything in it. I love it when the world card comes up because the world card is one of my favorites and with this one I really want to kind of look at look at what uh, the artist for this one uh, did Wheel of Fortune and Justice so I am going to kind of look into the book here just a little bit just because I really want to there we are so for this card it says I am the fool and this was and is my perpetual journey I attain this consistent form, albeit two is brief. I have been a sword that was fashioned by hand. I have been a raindrop in the air. I have been the glowing radiance of the stars. Not only have I existed as a word in writing, I have also been a book. I am the glowing light from Merlin's lantern. I have been an eagle and a dark coracle upon the seas. It is not a it is not a mother nor a father that I was made. The wisdom of sages fashioned me before the world even existed. I am the magician's wand, and see also the pillars of the high priestess between which I fly. See me as the innocent imbued with the wisdom of ages. 
So here's here's the thing. We've got the completion of a task here. What the world? There it is. There's literally nothing else you can do right now. It's done. Sometimes the conclusion isn't only something that we crave, but when it actually arrives, waving at the doorstep, it can leave us feeling a little bewildered. So when the job is done and that task has reached its uh, natural conclusion, this is kind of that uh, we're relieved. This is the sum total of everything that we've been working for. Right? Notice all four elements are there. The cauldron, the shield, the sword, the wand, it's all there. And what that means is we kind of we kind of end up with this, well shit, now what do I do? I've already done it. It's, it's out there. Now what the hell do I do? I've been I've been working on this for like two years. I've been working on this for like a month. Now what the hell do I do with myself? Well, that's where the King of Swords comes in. And this little transitionary card leads you from what do I do now to I can really do anything. But now you, like, you have to have mastery over your thoughts. You're going to have to have that decision that you'll apply yourself. You'll have to make that decision that these sacrifices are worth it. And you're going to have to get people on board with you. You'll have to let them know, hey, I've got this going on. This matters to me. I need your support. Okay? But here's the problem. Not everything's going to stick around. It's going to leave you feeling a little like this guy right here. But the, the thing is, there's always that one cauldron coming in that's full. And you're going to worry about the other three. Completions of projects, the ends of certain things, pointing at that Ragnarok card there, it can leave you feeling a little empty. You've poured your heart and soul into that project, and now you're left with a weekend. You're looking at this weekend going, well, fuck, what do I do now? And the answer to that is anything that you want. Now you can focus on learning something brand new about your your project your next one maybe even brainstorming over what that looks like let's go to the spirit you have the high priestess again she's about doing that doing your own thing nine of shields that's always a happy card to have and the two of cauldrons so here we've got we've got a transition from Really kind of do your own thing here. You know, no, she's doing hers. That's for you to kind of make your own decisions here. This is completion. I've seen a lot of completion for this weekend. The end of one thing, the beginning of another. But then, got that soulmate card coming up. Time to work a little... You know, hey, I, I'm going to say this. Spend a little more time with your soulmate. You never know. Just spend a little time kind of chilling out, relaxing with them. Spitball here, a little there. You know, bounce a few ideas. Just in passing. Doesn't have to be anything serious. For the Angels and Ancestors Oracle... Wow, that's not bad. So, it's okay to go a little wild. It's perfectly fine. This is where you're going to embrace that inner wolf, and you're just going to kind of let go. All those constraints that you were living under, you were like, oh man, if I didn't have to do this, I would do that. Well, now you don't have to do this. Now you can do that. Let yourself do it. But be ready. And look here. We've got a couple things pointing at each other. Be open to healing information. Look, the Caduceus. It's happening in both of these cards. Spending a little time with that uh, soulmate can be very, very healing. And then finally, we have Autumn. Which says, Release the old 
and rest. Let go. Let go. It's over. You're fine now. Right? You made it through. And I'm going to kick the, these runes off real quick. We've got Fehu, so we have that abundance and fertility. We've got Burkano pointing right. Bang. Done. This is where your healing is in Burkano. Uh, Fehu, is, of course, is that wealth and abundance, and that's very important because, guess what? You are, through the sum total of that experience, you now have a wealth more than what you had before. And it may not look like it at first, but look. Don't look at these. Look at that. That one right there. Those are those gifts that are coming through. And finally, Tivaz. So there is your this, the sum total of this can make you that leader that you want to see, the leader that you need, but it looks to me more like it's about victory. You won. Now what do you do with that victory? That's the most important thing. So it looks like this entire reading is about our transition. This weekend it's all about transition. The end of one in the beginning of something new. We talk a lot about change. Change was uh, one of those things that came up in uh, Wednesday's reading. But when it happens, we're like, uh, wait a minute, was, I wasn't ready for that. Yeah, you were. You've been working toward it this whole time. So, take a breath. Give yourself a little time. This weekend is a great time to do that. Just give yourself a little time. Watch a movie. Read a book. Go for that walk. Try to kind of get your head together. Experience what it's like without that worry. You worked for it. You earned it. It's yours. Enjoy it. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Me? I think I'm going to get some beer before I head home. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want one. Anyway, love you all. Take care of yourselves and each other. Always do what lights you up. And as always, my friends, shine on. Okay, so I'm going to address the elephant in the room, the lack of the shuffle, uh, little time-lapse shuffle videos that I usually include. Um, yesterday I had a, a really horrible editing goof, and that goof was that I did not attribute the song that I had properly. I also got a copyright claim on a video I think about a couple weeks ago for a song that I, I, I did the same thing on it and I did not have time to fix it so I was like you know what forget it I just I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna do uh, I'm not gonna do one of those so I just cut it out entirely and cut right to the intro so also I've had some feedback that uh, you know a minute long uh, intro which included that that shuffle was just a little too much for some and that's fine I, I understand and on top of that it was just a matter of how can I put this um, that intro video had long since kind of you know the purpose was done and the origins of it Or that uh, I had a little, I had a little someone coming into my email and saying, "Oh, you, you know, you're stacking your decks." Well, I think I've satisfied that and then some, and I just decided maybe it was, you know, 
in the growing pains of the channel it was just time for that kind of thing to end so I went ahead and just killed it I hope you don't mind plus it was one more thing I had to edit I mean it's it's you know the shuffling happens every morning but to be honest, it's like, okay, well, I've, all, I've also got to edit that one thing, and, you know, if I can spare myself some precious seconds there, uh, be even better. So, I went ahead and just ended my relationship with the, with the little speed up, you know, you see my hands doing this, bub kind of moving around like he's spazzing out, so. <laughs> The many cuts in the life of a YouTuber, and let me tell you, they—they they are many. You will—you will sacrifice some time doing this. That's why this thing is like one take on cut. I try to keep it no frills if—if if necessary. Definitely not complaining. Definitely not because this is this is a lot of fun for me. I like doing this. It's fun. But it is time consuming. <laughs> and let me tell you, you see these you see these people with a um, really crisp video and great sound. Boy, let me tell you, they uh they put their heart, souls, and a lot of effort into it. And even if I don't care for the channel that much, I gotta Got to hand it to them, their uh, production quality is very nice, but we are all low budget here. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm going to break a little bit of illusion here. I'm actually using a Sony Handycam. The audio is the absolute worst on this thing. Video is not bad, but it's not great either. Uh, it just is what it is. It's a well, you know camera I bought for about a couple hundred bucks and uh, yeah works serviceable so as long as you're good with it I'm good with it besides really it's really about the message in here isn't it I'll try to show you each of the cards that way you get an idea of what it is what it is you're looking at how that's interpreted I know I kind of spit through the last of the cards but uh you know Time constraints being what they are, and I gotta gotta be at work, gotta get this thing edited. You know, that sort of thing. There we go. That is there. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. Hey Raven, you forgot a deck. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> nope, that one that one's gonna be used for high notes. So I just give that a few shuffles here. I'm still probably going to do an overhand shuffle on the uh, on the video right before I pull a card. We'll see what the ancestors have to say today, right? Oh, good grief! Dropping cards left and right here. I, I don't have my hands today. That's you know, that's what happens, you know. Ah. And then there's those kind of shuffles <laughs> where cards meet head to head, and it's like ah. Yeah, it's not always perfect, folks. It, perfection is far from what. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that was a good shuffle. All right. All right, cool. Got that down. Gonna put this here. Move that back over here. This is the deck I always take with me. My trusty old Rider weight. Love that deck. It's a good deck. Love this uh, Celtic Tarot deck too. It's beautiful, isn't it? Same with this deck. This deck is awesome. Love it. Anyway. Yeah, I rock a fanny pack. They take three pockets, I had two big ones. That's how this rolls. Anyway, have a great weekend. I'll see you on High Notes. Remember, live this Sunday. 
one more one more uh, three more days to take advantage of the promotion in the description below you can also check out my link tree get on it get yourself get yourself like some readings or give someone uh, give someone some readings for you know Ostara it's well on the way all right see ya love you later